Hey guys, and welcome back. So, basically, today we're going to be looking at a few new features for 1.11. So, as you might have guessed, 1.11 has been released at Minecon. They pretty much announced pretty much all of the new features, which I think is really cool. But some of the new features, like the llamas, I'm very excited. I want some of those on the Block Hermit server so I can... Uh, you know, maybe sell a few llamas because they seem interesting, but I need to know how to breed them. But anyway, so here are some, there are also these new blocks called observer blocks, which are very, very interesting in the fact that they detect block updates. And this was uh, previously achieved with the bud piston, but now that this new block is added into the game, it's fairly simple. It is, uh, you know, in fact, let me just, uh, you know what, never mind. I was going to show you how to craft it. I think I will leave like a screenshot on how to craft it, you know, fairly soon. But uh, maybe at the end of this video. But anyway, so here are some designs. Now we're going to pretend that this block right here, I mean, this block that I am staring at is an observer block. And they are directional blocks, so we're going to pretend that's facing in the correct direction. So this is all speculate, uh, pretending. Now, I don't even know if they will actually be in 1.11, I'm hoping, but I do not know because it actually has not been like put out yet where it's official 1.11. So here, we're going to basically pretending like this is an observer, observer block. And we're pretending, again, more pretending, that this is where the, uh, the stalk is growing for like the melon and pumpkin like stalk or whatever vine and it is growing here okay so whenever this comes this block right here will detect the update and since we don't have the block right now i have to add the input signal so we'll press the button to add the signal the piston extends using very very simple redstone so the piston extends and look here, and actually I forgot to delete that, but uh, that's not important. But see, we get it. And if we just press one more, again I have to add the redstone signal because we don't actually have the block yet. But see, we get them, and I use trap chests, so that's a bad thing. But anyway, this also works with melons. Of course, the items get a little scattered, sometimes they don't go into it. So you need to be careful that you use uh, barriers to basically keep it from going. We'll just throw that in there. But, so, that's useful. And these are some simple farms. But I also made a tileable design. Um, we'll just alternate like this. This is totally tileable. Now, this redstone, you do not need it, but for the sake of this video, and since we don't have the observer blocks, you need it for this. But these blocks right here, uh, the ones that I'm looking at, those are going to be the observer blocks and they will be detecting updates downward and the redstone output will be going up so we put redstone here put a repeater here into the piston shoves it out and gets here so we're pretending okay that these are observer blocks and we wouldn't no I'm, we wouldn't need to press this button it would automatically send through but because we don't have the actual blocks i am going to just press the button so we they all drop and they get flown in there which is useful so this is tileable which i think this might be used a bit more but the thing is though we don't actually have these blocks so i do not know if redstone can be placed on top of it i don't know so this is all speculation i haven't actually gotten to fiddle around with the blocks hopefully Tomorrow, at the day after me recording this, uh, the uh, snapshot that should have the observer blocks should be in tomorrow's snapshot. So hopefully, I'll be able to fill around with this, see if this desi these designs will actually work. Because as of now, I do not know. But um, anyway, this is fairly simple, and I actually like it. And I don't know, I probably need water. But I don't know if these will grow. I'll have to alter the design a bit. I have no idea how farms like the, these work. I just know that this is unmade farm. And before you need a bud piston, 
Now you do not need that. I try to follow one of Mumbo's tutorials how to make a fully automated uh, a, uh, melon farm, and it was kind of, and I couldn't follow the tutorial because didn't understand any of the redstone at the time. And it was just real complicated. And with this new observer block, these auto farms are very efficient, very fast, and they're very, very simple. I mean. I mean, just just look at this. I could probably here. I'll just show you how to replicate it. So this is will be the basic. Uh, this is like the basic um, setup for how it works. So this will have to be the observer block. Put redstone, 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 and the observer block. Just pretend that this is dirt. This is the stock. It grows here. Pushes it into a water stream. Hoppers. Yeah, and this, you just, you can tile them, which makes everything a lot simpler, in my opinion. Just tile a lot of them together, and boom, you have a really nice and simple um, little farm. But tell me, do you like the tileable design, or do you like the one-by-one -one design? And I've actually, I haven't tested to see which is more efficient. I believe this would probably be more efficient, because you can put a lot of them close together with uh, in a smaller amount of space. But this one is really resource light. It requires less redstone. It requires um, uh, less hoppers, if you're using hoppers. If you're using water stream, it requires less packed ice. And it, uses, and it doesn't use a single repeater. So it's very light on materials and redstone, which this is why I like these small designs. I mean, you could set up a bunch of these like in a row just like this, and they would all be working. And you could stack them up and down and side to side, and I think th these will be the most popular design for these new farms. But that is the end of this video. If you liked it, please make sure to leave a like. I do appreciate it, and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm out. So, like I said, I have shown, basically, this is the crafting recipe for this new observer block. As you can see, it is three cobble on top, three cobble on bottom, two pieces of redstone in the middle, and one piece of quartz. Very simple, very inexpensive if you're serious about the game. But if you're not serious, then, I mean, getting the quartz might be a little hard, but anyway. So, I just wanted to basically show you, this is how you... I saw Jeb craft it at uh, Minecon. I didn't actually go. I watched Exuma's video. Link in the description down below. I suggest you go checking that out where he goes. Pretty much gives his thought on some of the other things. One of the, my th one of the things that I'm really excited about is backpacks. And I, if you don't know about that, go check out Exuma's video. And in the, again, in the description down below for more information about that. And I will see you guys later. It may be sad, it may be over, but don't worry, there's more. You can check out my channel for other videos. Redstone, I do a lot of redstone. You can also check my Let's Play series of Block Hermit. I play with a few guys. Spart, he is a great guy. I also play with a few other members on the Block Hermit server. I suggest you go checking that out. You know, just go check out my channel now. Go check it out. And well, that's it for this video. If you liked it, again... Please make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.